Several participants from Beyond 21 have been working hard at creating a show that speaks from their heart. Sometimes it is hard to describe our emotions, our state of being, but art can help us form those thoughts into something that is tangible and can be shared with others. There is value in art and self-expression that sometimes gets forgotten in our everyday life. Our program, Hear My Voice, See My Voice, started off as an anti-hate program and it has grown into more than this one element. We have been learning to raise our voice and to speak up and out towards what we are uncomfortable with, like anti-bullying, uncomfortable stares, and mistreatment that permeates in our society. We have been learning to express our feelings, whether through speaking, mannerisms in our body movements, visual art, and dance, which helps us to understand our emotions. I have with me Chad from Beyond 21. Hello, Chad. Hello. Yes, we are here for our advocacy day called Hear My Voice, See My Voice. The participants at Beyond 21 have been working really hard to promote an advocacy day for ourselves. And we've been working nonstop on this for quite a while now, right, Chad? Oh, yes, we have been. Mm -hmm. quite a while. We've been including different elements like drama, art, visual arts, as well as dancing to our program. So we've been having so much fun, but we've also been really trying to work on empowering ourselves, right? Is there anything you would like to add to that, Chad, for our empowerment? How has your experience been? It has been awesome, actually. Excellent. Um, you had mentioned something earlier to me. Yeah. Um, how, how, how has it been like for you, um, positivity? It's been really cool, actually, and at the end of February, I'm going to miss us. It's, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's true. Our um, programming actually ends at the end of February, so we will totally miss this aspect. <laughs> original art on display today here for our advocacy day so I have some beautiful art that was created by our participants we have neurographics on display and it's a really unique form of art that one can do we also have art journals that each and every one of us have been working on and it's more towards the, our inner self kind of our emotions and building up upon them we also created really cool theatrical masks that are on display and lots and lots of art right here in this location we have our community project that we've been working hard on and it's all about our ideal community that is inclusive and just really a beautiful area to like live in okay and we also have our I have posters up with all of our photos from the experiences over the the grant itself that we've been working on we wanted to see what the issues are that face our disabled communities and how we we can raise awareness that will gain friction and through action so that we can cause change the advocacy day of Hear My Voice, See My Voice is in its grassroots stage. This is the beginning, and then gradually, it could grow into something bigger to help raise awareness for developmentally challenged individuals and families and caregivers. Because realistically, this is more than the individual. This is the community. A while back, we discussed what were the key issues facing individuals with disabilities. Here is what came to light in our discussions. Education, healthcare, ODSP, Ontario Disability Support Program, and its version across Canada. Housing, funding, many not knowing about passport funding for programming, and so on. Not being understood or respected. Job opportunities. 
the future and what it holds for us. Why this program is so important to me. The reason why this program means a lot to me is because I love being at Beyond 21 and having so much fun with everyone. Hear my voice program allows us to stay connected and understand that we are all important to the community. We all have the right to sign and all have the right to express ourselves. I believe in you and I believe that we are not limited. We have a lot to accomplish and we can succeed in our experiences and learn from them. This is who we are because this is the way God made us perfectly. Do not limit me. Do not limit others. And please, don't not limit ourselves. Because you're a bonus way. I want to talk to you about Beyond 21 and hear my voice. I was born with Down syndrome and I want to share my great abilities with, with you all. I am an artist with both in performance and visual arts. I like making movies and painting. And I plan to make a living in my art. And I know this could be achieved through my determination. I am writing an article about the Martown Mail in Martown. And I want to share my sto stories with anyone that wants to read my article. When I started here at Beyond 21, I felt happy about it, and I noticed a lot of differences here, uh, personality-wise. Hearing my voice makes me feel happy and grateful that I am here, and I felt welcome. Hearing my voice helped me make a watchful friends like Britt and everyone else, and grateful that I get to meet new people that help with my, my abilities, and I am proud to be a part of that. The reason why this program means a lot to me is because I love being here at PR 21 and having so much fun with everyone. And here my first program allow us to connect and understand that we are all important in this community. We have all the right to shine and have the right to express ourselves. I love believe in you, and I believe that we are not limited. And we have a lot to accomplish, and we can succeed in our experiences and learn from them. Thank you for everything you have done for us, and for me too as well. And I'm great, grateful for that, for the special, special journey and giving us the opportunity to be, uh, be a part of this community at, on uh, PR 21. Thank you for all the hard working you have done for us. What we've been trying to do is create almost like a grassroots programming for our advocacy day. It starts with one group and then hopefully in the future it will grow into something that is not just city-wide, community-wide, hopefully it will become nationwide for our participants at Beyond 21. So this is for an advocacy day for developmentally challenged adults in our community. And we want you to hear our voice because we have a lot of value. We have a lot to give to our community. And I want you to help support Beyond 21. Yes. Definite, oh yeah. Mm -hmm. You could go to www.beyond21.org to help support. We have sponsorships there so you can help sponsor our programming.